Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I really hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be taking these two thrift finds. Look at how unique this is and I thought this kind of looks safari so I thought using the two together will be good. So I'm going to not give these a makeover because I'm not really doing anything to them but I'm going to use them for a project. The main thing you're going to need is one of these and I am going to use blue purposely so if you can find blue it's even better. These are called twist grips and they're usually used in the garden. So I'm going to start off actually just by giving this a clean and I didn't realise until I bought it home that it's actually got cracks, that's probably why someone's given it away. I think it must have fallen on the floor, can you see the cracks going all the way down? So it's a little bit unfortunate but we'll still use it. I just keep debating whether I should paint over these but I think it's going to really take away from the character of this especially and then this just won't really match with it. So the decision is we're going to keep them as they are and I've moved, maneuvered this like into a shape that I'm happy with from the top. I haven't really worked with the bottom yet and I have tested this just holding it like this to see that it can bear the weight of the vase I'm using because this is really really heavy. I was surprised how heavy it is and what you want to do is stick that inside whatever you're using you can use a teapot this also works the same for using a teacup the floating teacups so we're going to take our hot glue and you can use multiple glues if you want it just to be even stronger I'm going to place my hot glue all the way just at the entrance stick this through all the way to the back and then hold that in position I actually bought these twist grips some time back and I was thinking what can I do with them so I really just was so happy thinking of this idea because I do hate using the fork technique if you haven't seen other videos usually they use a fork so okay we need to make sure that this is nice and stable so have a look at where you want it how high you want it for example what angle you want it at and I'm going to glue mine I think right here and I'm going to just twist this and we're going to stick that down like this it's going to give it more stability that way so get your hot glue ready you want a ton of this hot glue And then go ahead and stick it into position. You're going to need to hold this down for some time. Now I'm going to place glue there as well. So taking my hot glue again. And we're going to cover this up so don't worry about how much glue you're using. Again, you want to just hold that down in position until it sets. So you're going to need to place some rocks, something quite heavy on the other side. So I'm going to have my hot glue, we're going to use it as the artificial water. So that's also why I'm using the blue twist grip. It'll just work so much better and look more like water. Going to cover the whole thing, of course. And use your hot glue, the tip, to make some lines. Give it a bit of, as though as the water's actually flowing. And make sure you turn it around so that you work on all of the sides. Once you're done with the hot glue, you want to take some soil and we're going to place it at this front part. So I'm actually going to keep these stones here. I've moved them a little bit because I need them for keeping the weight and the banners but I also really like them and I'm going to be taking some succulents to decorate so I'm placing that just in this little gap and I've also got some sprigs of topiaries and other greenery and plants that I've got so I've got a few here and I'm just going to decorate I'm going to actually use some hot glue to stick that to the base of the wood 
Let's take this greenery, add a bit of hot glue. I'm going to stick that on the back here. Another sprig and a touch of hot glue, sticking that on the back. So really just play around, have fun, that's the main thing. You just want to have a good variation in colours, textures, sizes and in the placement of where you put everything. Placing a succulent here, I've actually added a little bit more soil so I can plant these in there a bit easier. Now I'm just placing some slates next to the water. I'm going to be using this plant grow substrate. It's usually for aquatic plants and things, but I just really love how it looks. Doesn't that look so nice? So I'm just going to place it, you know, where you can see the soil, these two areas. Now I'm taking a paintbrush just to tidy all of the edges, get rid of any soil. And now to finish off we're going to be using some white acrylic paint just to add onto the water. You don't want too much when you do this, just like dry brushing really. So I'm adding it to the tip, getting rid of any excess. And then on certain areas. So here's a completed project. I'm so happy with the water. It really does look realistic. So I really hope that this has inspired you. Make sure that you add the white paint to it because it really does make a difference to the water effect. I love reading your comments so definitely let me know what you think of this project. And if you haven't already done so please do consider leaving me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and if you love this video share it with others. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.